Let's start learning. Hello there, everyone. Today we'll take a look at understanding multiplication using arrays. Let's review some important ideas. First, we'll name the parts of a multiplication sentence. The numbers we multiply together are called factors. The answer in a multiplication sentence is called the product. One more important idea we can look at is an array. An array is a setup of items in rows and columns. An array looks like this. Rows in an array go across. Columns in an array go up and down. This array has three rows and two columns. One, two, three rows, one, two columns. Remember at the start I said we would take a look at understanding multiplication? Well, a great tool for understanding multiplication is an array. I've talked about using arrays for repeated addition. The link for that video is in the description below. Feel free to take a look. I'm sure it will be helpful. So, let's talk about multiplication. Here's a multiplication sentence. 3 times 6 equals 18. 3 and 6 are our factors. 18 is our product. When we look at our multiplication sentence, the first factor tells us how many in a group. The second factor tells us how many groups. 3 in a group. 6 groups. If we were to draw a picture, it would look like this. 3 in a group. 6 groups. Now, if we look at our picture, we can see that what we're doing is repeated addition. We're adding equal groups of 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Another way to look at this is to use an array. Our first factor tells us how many in a group. That would be our number of columns. 3 columns. Our second factor tells us how many groups. That would be rows, six rows. Here's what our array would look like. Three in a group, six groups. When we look at our array, we can see that, just like our first picture, we're doing repeated addition. We're adding equal groups. Let's skip count each row and see what we come up with. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. If we have three in a group and six groups, we have 18 total. We could say three plus three plus three plus three plus three plus three equals 18. Or we could say three times six equals 18. Multiplication is repeated addition. And an array shows us what that looks like and how to solve for a product. Let's try another. This time, we're going to have to find the product. Here's our multiplication sentence. 8 times 5 equals what? Our first factor tells us how many in a group or how many columns. 8 in a group, 8 columns. Our second factor tells us how many groups, how many rows. 5 groups, 5 rows. Here's what our array looks like. 8 in a group, 5 groups. We can solve by repeated addition or skip counting. I've also done videos for skip counting by 8 and multiplying by 8s. Those links are in the description too. Let's skip count by 8s. Count with me. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. Our array has 40 objects total. We have our product. 8 times 5 equals 40. Nice work. Let's review. Let's review what we've learned today. In a multiplication sentence, the numbers we multiply together are factors. The answer is the product. Our first factor tells us how many in a group. The second factor tells us how many groups. Since multiplication is repeated addition, an array is a great tool for understanding and solving. The first factor tells us how many columns, or how many in each row. The second factor tells us how many rows. 
Once we set up our array, we can use repeated addition or skip count to find our product. I've also set up a playlist that has videos about basic multiplication and division facts if you need it. Be sure to check that out. Nice work, everyone. Parents, teachers, and homework helpers, please be sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications. A like will really help the channel, so please give us a thumbs up. Thank you so much for being here today. I look forward to seeing you again. Take care, and remember, it never hurts to be nice.